What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Dan Banks, a.k.a. DJ Fine CEO of JTU. We are Jersey Magazine and Jersey Diamonds. I'm here with the homie, Malk. Jersey, what up, man? You already know. Got Jersey in the building. We're going to get to know Malk a little bit more, but this guy is super talented. He got a lot of projects out in a short period of time, and he was born in 94. Just know that's very important. <laughs> you know, so, Malk, my brother, first off, let me know why you rep 94 so hard, brother. Uh, it's basically like a playoff uh this album, like, uh, from the mischievous, uh, so I forget the name of him, but uh, it's basically a play off of 94 to it's a song called 93 to infinity. So, 94 to infinity is basically like anybody could be a part of it, they can switch it to their year, whatever. Yeah. I'm gonna be solid from 94 to forever, I'm gonna be me no matter what, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And like on the side, I had a little Monica is dead too, like instead of watching, dead, dead too, like they gonna dead do what you want to do. I like that, like that. So, I involves anybody, anybody can anybody, be a part of that movie, that's a dope movie. As long as you solid. Only if you're in the 90s, though, bro. <laughs> So, Mark, you got a lot of projects out. I mean, you got four projects out. Um, when did you start? When did you actually start? Uh, honestly, I always been playing around with music. Like, I was heavy into sports, like, all throughout high school. Like, played sports all state. All that. Went to, went to school. I had trouble out there. I had to come back home. Yeah. I got Willie P. So, so, I got the Willie P. Um, I was focused on sports again. Wasn't really doing it. Then certain situations, like, my pops had that. And I didn't even really have no outlet to, like, express myself. So, I went back home or whatever. Uh, my homies, my younger homies, Twice, Dom, P, they was all like, yo, just come come mess with us in the studio, this, that, and So I'm like, all right, cool. And so I went there, I ain't turned back since I got yeah. addicted. So, and then from there, that was in 2017, and then, the beginning of 2017, then I dropped Free Game, December 2017. So that, it all happened real fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so literally from the beginning of the year to the end, you were just perfecting yourself, yeah. finding your craft, finding your sound, and exactly. the set before it, exactly. <laughs> 2017, exactly. dropped this first project. So the first project is called Free Game, right? Um, how'd you come up with that? How'd you come up with that title for your first project? I mean, honestly, because when you listen to it, it's like, a, like the whole everything. All my projects is basically giving free game to people. Yeah. So I figured, why not? If it makes on SoundCloud, it's free. I'm kicking free knowledge for y'all. This that and third, so free game. I like that. That's dope. Yeah. And then we move forward into um, 2018, right? Yeah. So now you drop uh, progression, the yeah. progression first one. Right. Yeah. So then, how'd you come? And now you got now all his projects are in chronological order. So if you listen to it from the beginning to the end of all his projects, they all have a little sequence to them. So now, how'd you go from free game to um, the progression? Well, if you listen to like free game, you would hear totally different music. Like, I got a little auto tune on. Like I'm trying a bunch of different stuff. Like I said, for my pops, that back in the 2016. So free game was just me trying to find myself yeah. like throughout everything in life. So you hear different types of sounds in it. So once I get the progression. You hear totally different me. It's like I'm, I'm in my own skin now. The beat selection different. The content is different. And it's like, all right, so from, from December to May now, this is a crazy progression yeah. I got right here. So then you get that name right there. I like that. And then you move forward. So you got the progression, right? So you got free game, progression, and then you move to layover. Now, layover by itself, you already know that means that something went something went on during that time. So yeah. talk to me about layover. When did that drop? When did layover drop? Layover dropped November 4th. Uh, 2018. Actually, it was supposed to come out the fourth, but the way the streaming stuff went, I put yeah. my stuff in, and they put it at the third, so I had to yeah. drop it at the third. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's still the fourth. Still yeah, we're going to go at the fourth. Go ahead, still. Go ahead yeah. Brother, yeah. So, uh, the layover, basically, like you said, from the title, it's like I graduated school in May. And if anybody who graduated school know that, that first six to 12 months is like some of the most depressing times of your life. It's like, yo, I expected to come yeah. out, have my dream job, this, that, and the third. Like, I had, I had a bunch going on. I was moving cribs and all that. So like that's probably one of my most deepest moments yeah. like on that tape right yeah, there like yeah. cause I, that's raw right there that's all my emotions and like the feedback I got from that was mostly from people in college or college students like yo I identify with everything you're saying right there like so that shit mean a lot that's to me. Dope, that's dope. Dope. So you trying to touch a whole different crowd now as far as your peers and now like people that can relate to that story of like you said during that time yeah. it's called the label like. That says it by itself, and a lot of people wouldn't even understand what that means unless you really explain, like, listen, like, I graduated college. I thought I was gonna have my dream job. I didn't. I ain't know what to do. I'm going back and forth with, exactly. with, with work or going back and forth with cribs. Like, it's the labor right now. Yeah, it's, well, a, it's the waiting well, season. Well. And then boom, 2019 we hit. Aggression two. P2. P2. Caught my stride. Caught my stride. You feel me? So from the layover, you hit totally different me again. I sound a lot more re-energized. The B selection is still 
on par. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Othello Beats. Shout out to Band yeah. Loose. Yeah, shout out to uh, Nebula Beats and It Will Beats. That's all the production that uh, went on on that on that, on that tape. And, uh, shout out my homie Hearn. He helped me pick out all my beats. Shout out my engineer, Fade Picasso, House of Picasso, Bayonne, New Jersey. Yeah, Get yeah. with him. Definitely. Like P two is just I'm in my zone on that one. Like you feel me? We got the bops on there. We got then we got the deep stuff. Yeah. And then we just we just talking to him again. I like that. Yeah. That's dope, man. Just got insane. Just got super multi talented. Come straight from Jersey. Jersey. Baby. Jersey. Bayonne. Bayonne. Bayonne, New Jersey. Yeah. You already know. All right. So tell me real quick, right, about these creative aspects as far as visuals, right? Mm -hmm. So when it comes to visuals and your projects, now again, you tell stories in chronological order. So how do you go about the visuals? Like, do you tell them from a certain order and then go to like the next one? So that, like, do all your stories and visuals go in chronological order? Also? No, not necessarily. Uh, so I like to. I'm not a big singles rapper. Like I, I like yeah. to give you a project. So I put the project out. You ever been on iTunes? Like you see how it gets search songs get stars next yeah, to yeah. it. So that's how I determine what my single is, what people feel the most of it. So right now it's careless. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? That's probably one of my one yeah. or two most favorite. Shake that out. Yeah. So that's gonna be the video. It's gonna be a whole concept theme behind the song careless. So that's how we pick them right there. And then the way you go about your visuals, you are a part of the process, or do you let the director? Definitely, go definitely. So it's me. My man Free, he's a creative director. He also got his own clothing line, fam. And then the director, whoever I'm shooting with. So we come together or whatever, put our heads together, get a little day, and then we go from there as a collective. Definitely, yeah, yeah. man. Stay tuned for this guy, man. Jersey, <laughs> the building's lit. So what else we got going on for the summer, brother? What we doing? Uh, we got a couple more shows coming up. I just did an in-stage performance uh, on my on my Instagram for uh, Major Stage. It's also on YouTube, too. Uh, my Instagram is uh, Malc, M-A-L-C, three underscores. Wow. Check me. Uh, we're gonna be doing a couple more shows, and I'll probably give y'all another two, three pack by the time the end of the summer come up early fall. It's dope. Yeah, we still in the studio working. Yeah, yeah. You're in the first show. We're at Jersey Magazine. Mal in the building. Jersey. Stay yeah. tuned. Jersey turned out entertainment. Entertainment.